Golf Cart Garage gets a ton of calls and emails just like this one. Pete writes in, Hi Dave, we just got the cart out for the season and it doesn't seem to have the same power and runtime that it used to. What should I look at to find out why it's not performing as usual? So it's time to ask Dave right now on GCG TV. Hi everyone, welcome and thank you for joining us today as we discuss golf cart power. If your electric cart jerks or isn't performing like it used to, it's losing power while driving or won't move at all, power supply is the first thing to investigate. We'll look at safely testing batteries when you don't have a load testing machine on hand. And if you stay with us through the whole episode, we'll tell you how we're going to put a new multimeter in the hands of a few new YouTube subscribers. Okay, so if powertrain components like solenoids, controllers, or motors are failing, they need experienced in-person diagnosis. However, battery and charger problems can quietly cause a lot of the power issues we hear about, and all we need is a multimeter for testing to have a look. After a full charge cycle on the batteries, we start by identifying the ends of the battery series. While battery compartments can all look a bit different, these are the two batteries only connected to one other battery, whereas all the ones in the middle are connected to two other batteries. Set the multimeter to DC volts, an icon showing a straight line with dashes underneath. Touch the red lead to first battery positive and the black lead to the negative terminal on the last battery, or test each battery individually. This will give us surface charge readings, meaning the charge the batteries hold when they're at rest. Next, we'll get our load test, which tells us the reading when the batteries are in use. We get the rear of the cart safely up on jack stands and take the same readings as before while engaging the throttle about 75%. Our 48 volt cart tests right around 51 volts and runs great, but you don't want our results, you want to know about yours. During the load test, your battery pack shouldn't read more than 2 volts below its total. 36 volt carts should have a reading 34 or above, and 48 volt carts should read 46 or above. If your readings are lower, test each battery to see if one or more has failed cells. When testing this way, each battery should test at least its total voltage. 6 volt batteries should test 5.9 or higher. 8 volt batteries 7.9 or higher and 12 volts at 11.9 or higher. If they don't, it's time to consider reconditioning or replacing that battery. Underpowered batteries can also be caused by a charger that's not 100% functional anymore. In many cases, when chargers begin to fail, users aren't aware. Failing chargers sometimes finish charge cycles too early, fail to complete the charge finalization process, or fail to charge at full capacity. If you find you need to replace the charger or the batteries, we're here to help! Golf Cart Garage is your one-stop shop for the best chargers, batteries, parts, and accessories in the industry. And we've got a few of these new multimeters to send out to a few of our new subscribers over the coming weeks. We're already your golf cart's best friend. We should hang out more. So remember to hit the subscribe button below to be randomly selected for a multimeter, or if you want to keep watching as we answer more burning questions right here on GCG TV. Got one of your own? Send your questions by email to askdave at golfcartgarage.com.